Good evening, friends. So today we have got Dr. Amit Kumar Vats from Stuttgart. He works in a front of our institute working on automations and manufacturing. And uh, he has been on a fellowship by Indo-German Science and Technology Center for Industrial Postdoctoral Fellowship. So welcome, Amit. Uh, we request you to share uh, your academic journey so far. Uh, good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Watts. Firstly, I want to thank you for inviting me on your YouTube channel. It is a great initiative by you for providing a platform for sharing our ex experience and details about the IGSTC fellowship. Currently, I am working uh, in Fraunhofer IP Germany as an industrial postdoc fellow with Dr. Martin Masner. I am very thankful to IGSTC for providing this opportunity, which is a joint initiative by Department of Science and Technology, uh, Government of India, and Federal Ministry of uh, Education and Research, Government of Germany. About my education, I, I completed my BTEC MTech from, from uh, Kurukshetra University, and uh, I got the chance to complete my master thesis from CSIR Lab CSIO Chandigarh uh, with Dr. Akasdeep where I learned basic about the research and how to deal with the sophisticated instruments like XRD and SEM, et cetera. Afterward, I started my PhD from NIT Kurukshetra, Haryana in material science and nanotechnology department of physics under the supervision of Dr. Asavani and Dr. Asok Kumar, where I continue my research enthusiasm towards nanomaterials composites for energy storage devices. And after just finished my PhD, uh, I got the chance to work with uh, Dr. Parveen Kosik and uh, Mr. Raman Sarma, MD of uh, Exigo Recycling India, where we start working on uh, uh, reverse engineering of lithium ion batteries. During our work, we, we face lots of challenges uh, when we try to move from lab scale to industrial scale. And that was the motivation behind to move for international exposure for me and IGST. C is one of the best fellowship for getting uh, this industrial exposure, especially in Germany. Yeah, Dr. Amit, uh, can you please share us a bit more about this fellowship? What is this fellowship all about? How does it benefit doctoral and postdoctoral students? And uh, what kind of industry exposure it provides? Yeah. Absolutely, sir. Uh, about this fellowship, I got to know from my LinkedIn network, especially. And uh, before uh, apply this fellowship, I, I read uh, very carefully about the eligibility criteria and guidelines. Like if we talk about the, the eligibility cri criteria, uh, there is a two type of uh, fellowship is provided by IGSTC, special for uh, PhD student who is currently doing their PhD. And uh, another one is postdoc, uh, postdoctoral position for one year. For PhD student, it will be for six months only. And uh, for postdoctoral, it will be 12 months. And the condition for postdoc is another uh, like age, age should be less than 35 years. And uh, the opening, uh, opening of the apl application of uh, postdoc is uh, from starting from 1st of Feb to ending is uh, 31st of March. So we have two month window is there to submit our application. And after uh, going through all this process, I start my application for writing a research proposal. Uh, there is a IGST specific format is there. And uh, parallelly, I start searching my host institute in, uh, in Germany. So uh, during, uh, during that process, I completed my research, uh, research proposal as well. And uh, I, I, I got two to three connection in, uh, in Germany, uh, like from uh, if, if it, uh, if we, I talk about like email via email and uh, social media network is also work for me like LinkedIn and Twitter. And after finding my host, uh, we, we just uh, meet, uh, try to meet uh, online meet uh, like about discussion about the research, uh, research proposal, how we can uh, execute this proposal here in Germany. So I found Fraunhofer IPA is one of the best institute for me because uh, uh, for my research proposal, all the facility facilities are available here. Like if you talk about the laboratory, chemicals, and uh, sophisticated instruments, all are there. So that's why I choose uh, the Fraunhofer IPA here. 
so uh, and uh, after getting uh, getting all the documentation from 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 the first side like a consent letter is uh, very important and after that i gather all the documents and uh, like recommendation letter educational and experience certificate i bind up in a single pdf and uh, upload on a uh, website of igstc before 31st of march friends uh, what we have learned from dr amit that Although applications are invited in February and March, but it is important for you to find a host institution in Germany to avail this fellowship, which is both at doctor and postdoctoral level. At doctor level, normally candidates in second or third year of PhD are preferred so that they could gainfully utilize their research work in Germany into their PhD. For Postdoc, of course, uh, it's an independent offer and they could take it forward. But what is more important that instead of making a hurried proposal, it would be good if you start negotiating now with potential host so that there is ample opportunity of developing a good proposal for your stay in Germany for that period. Dr. Amit, can you please tell us, a lot of people are going to do postdocs abroad, but many of them are doing postdocs which are purely academic. You have chosen a industry setup. Could you please tell us what is the kind of difference one could feel working in academic environment or in industrial environment while availing these fellowships? Yeah. Definitely, sir. Academic and versus industrial postdoc is totally different. If we talk about the industrial postdoc, it's it is a totally uh, dependent dependent in the sense you have to work in a collaboration with the with the other institute with other departments like in Fraunhofer. I am working with electroplating as well as uh, functional materials. Two department is there, and you got uh, the chance to work with the industry as well. You have to visit the industry, get out the information or the problems, what is exactly on the ground level. But if we talk about the academic, it, it is an independent research, as you know, and uh, it is a, uh, there is a no timeline is there. But in, in, uh, in uh, industrial postdoc, timeline deadline is there, specific to objective. And it is more applied research uh, over if we talk about the fundamental research. So this, uh, this is the main difference uh, between yes. academic and industrial postdoc. Yeah, and uh, I choose industrial postdoc, the, as I already explained, the motivation behind choosing the industrial postdoc is uh, I already work in uh, industry in India, where I got lots of challenges uh, when we tried to move from lab scale to uh, pilot scale, because parameter will be same, but when we go from uh, uh, like, we are dealing in laboratory, we are dealing with only mgs or grams, but we will go for kgs and tons, then all the param parameter will be uh, will be changed. So we have to optimize that technology on pilot scale. Thank you, Dr. Amit. I think this is a very, very important thing because what he says, uh, since industry is oriented to make profit, so they cannot compromise on quality and time. So you need to achieve both and to draw a good balance, uh, you need to know what are your goals, what is the time limit well in advance so that you can perform. Friends, Fraunhofer is a series of institution in Germany, which is working on industrial research. But besides that, there are a number of institutions like Airbus, FAIR, et cetera, where also you could avail such fellowship. Uh, Dr. Amit, what would be your advice to the future aspirants of such fellowships who work in industry. Yeah, uh, especially for, uh, I would like to share share that if you are uh, focused on industrial research, then IG, IGST, IGSTC is the best fellowship for getting the exposure from uh, Germany, especially. And I will uh, suggest you have to focus on your res research proposal and your host institute. After getting the host institute, you have to uh, uh, you have to make a meeting with with him and try to negotiate about the facility. What what kind of facility they they would be provide 
like like uh, if we talk about the material science you need some chemicals you need laboratory facility you need some highly sophisticated instruments like xrd scm icp or yes so i will i will suggest you have to choose the host institute very carefully and after getting two to three meetings then you have to decide where, which institute is better for you and the there is a minor difference between academic institute and industrial because this is a industrial photo so this is another one of the point uh, you have to choose the institute very carefully without uh, because the academic institute is not eligible for applying this fellowship yeah thank so, you so uh, if i extend yeah if i extend furthermore some of the suggestion is already available on uh, igstc web website and like airbus you already share and fronhofer is there and um, lots of industries are available you are freely you are feel free to contact any any one of uh, industry in germany yeah thank you dr amit it was nice talking to you and to know a bit more about this fellowships friends in india these days especially those who are doing engineering research it is important that they have a taste of industrial flavor and they should understand something beyond academics what is what it takes to deliver the product to the market and what are the how cost cutting is done how uh, efficiently and how you are competing with other rival companies so you have to do competitive research you have to do quality research and you need to do it at a cost so that your company could still make profit while delivering new products so indo german yeah. science and technology center provides an opportunity to connect you to various german industries we have taken some names there are more names and uh, if you succeed then it will give you a very good exposure which very few in india are presently getting industry expert yeah, during your doctoral or even post doctoral assignment thank you yeah and okay yeah yeah one more thing i want to share like uh, if you join this fellowship uh, it, there is a lots of opportunity of networking if i talk about uh, myself i i got the chance to interact with the kit fronhofer and if we talk about the europe i got the chance to visit empa swiss federal laboratory of material science and nanotechnology switzerland and i i also got the chance to interact with the swiss based librac industry and uh, during this fellowship uh, i got uh, 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 i i i got the chance to attend uh, uh, some battery events in frankfurt and stuttgart as well and uh, so this is the fantastic uh, opportunities is uh, given by igstc so thank you dr amit was it was nice talking to you and we look forward and i hope you are open to questions in case any of our future aspirants are looking friends you can put those com- question in the comments and we will request dr amit was to respond to those specific query thank you all and it was nice talking to you amit yeah thank you so much sir thank you